Okay. The Kali Linux team has released a new snapshot of the project's penetration testing distribution. Kali Linux 2025.2 features GNOME 48 and KDE Plasma 6.3, but the biggest visible change is to the application menu. We've completely reworked the Kali menu. It's now reorganized to follow the MITRE ATT and CK framework structure, which means that finding the right tool for your task should now be a lot more intuitive for red and blue teams alike. Previously, the Kali menu structure followed what was in Backtrack, which followed WJX before it. The previous structure was an in-house item, before MITRE was a thing. When our menu was first created, there wasn't as much design planning done, which we suffered for later. It meant that over time, scaling and adding new tools became difficult for us. The knock-on effect was that this made it harder for you, the end users, to discover new tools as similar tools with overlapping functions were in different places or missing entries. Yes, seasoned professionals may not use the menu to start up items, using shortcuts such as super key and typing the tool name, or via a terminal window. We see the menu as a way to discover tools.